we have embarked on a national program to digitize government records and information and automate public service provision to enable Kenyans access government services from the comfort of their homes using their devices. The aim is to significantly cut down transaction costs and minimize opportunities for corruption by eliminating unnecessary bureaucracy and also increase transparency in government and efficiency in the provision of government service. Over the past year, we have increased the number of services available on the digital platform from 320 to 5,000 and intend to cover all services that government of Kenya provides, and I think we have identified close to 7,000 services, all of them should be available on a digital platform by the end of this year, so that citizens, from the comfort of their homes or their offices, can interact with government, can access government services in an efficient, effective, timely, manner without unnecessary bureaucracy. Because of this ambition, Kenya is among the earliest of its continent's peers to establish a policy framework for data protection, which includes comprehensive legislation and regulations to safeguard privacy and personal data. I know it's a big concern. People don't, don't want their medical records. They do not want their personal data to be abused or to be used by people who are unauthorized. And that is the reason why we have a comprehensive data protection um, uh, legislation that provides security for the use of data that is available on the digital platform for people who are only authorized to access that information.